through somewhat prominently. Of course, landscape has always been a big part of American identity. And you can see, um, we're going to look today at this painting here. This is a work by California artist Raymond Dab Yelland. This is called View of Monterey Bay from 1879. And um, <clears throat> I thought I'd tell you a little, give a little background on the artist. Yelland, um, as I said, is a well-known California landscape painter. He specialized in these kind of coastal scenes like you see here today. He actually was born in London in 1848, and but as a young boy, his family immigrated. He grew up primarily in New Jersey, and then served in the Union Army during the Civil War. But from a young age, very young, he knew he wanted to be an artist. So after the war, he studies art in New York City at the National Academy of Design. And then from there, um, he actually goes to Paris for a little while. But after that, he is um, gets a job at Mills College in Oakland, California. And this begins the kind of uh, next chapter of his life. He spends the rest of his life in California and divides his time between painting and teaching. And it's actually there that he changes his name. He adds Yelland to the last part of his name. Um, it had been Dab before, and he added um, it was his mother's maiden name, so he and his wife kind of changed their name, and then he's known by Yelland for the rest of his life. And he then establishes this kind of signature style of these um, landscape paintings. And he is often kind of continuing the Hudson River School tradition that we know of American landscape artists. Um, his particular kind of branch about this time is referred to as luminism. So artists such as um, Sanford Robson Gibson, uh, or Gifford, excuse me, and John Kensett, both of which are artists that are in our collection. We also have them as well, other luminist artists. And usually luminists do work like this where you see um, a kind of emphasis on the effects of light, um, often a kind of aerial perspective. You often can't see their brushstroke, beautifully depicted images. And um, this one, we get a, a good example of um, Yellen's style from this work here. He had a home, a summer home, in the Monterey Peninsula, and would often go there and do scenes like this. So let's look a little bit closer at this work and kind of see, we're given this privileged view as if we're kind of hovering here right between the rocks, and there's this wonderful balance between the horizontal and vertical elements, you get these strong verticals coming in with these rocks on either side, um, verticals and kind of diagonals, and it opens up this kind of inverted pyramid in the composition, opens up into the ocean. And then we start to see a more emphasis on these horizontal bands. And as it goes backward, so the, this front area here, the first water, we see kind of foamy water breaking on the rocks. Um, the white water um, kind of jumping up and splashing, and then as we go into the distance, starts to that color, the blues sort of transition with atmospheric perspective, um, that it gets more purple colors into the background. It gets a little bit more hazy into the background, um, <clears throat> uh, evoking this kind of summer day in Monterey. And there's some wonderful um, little details that Yelland often also includes, if we, if we look at it a little bit more closely, in the foreground you can kind of see this, this kind of rocky patches, and you can see some details, little flowers growing, yellow and red flowers growing um, here in the foreground. And then as we go up the rocks, these kind of craggy red rocks, you can see red and green bushes kind of growing right out of the rock there of humans and civilization, um, but mostly we get this beautiful nature, which of course is really what Yellen loved and was known for. Um, I thought this was a, a lovely work to, to focus on um, in June, in the summer. This I think is where we all want to be. Hopefully we get to go um, spend some time near a beautiful coastal side like this, or you can come into the museum and see this work here and, and um, enjoy.
one of the first that I know, big shows just dedicated to him in Sacramento at the Crawford Museum, and um, he sort of was a part of that as well. We are really honored to have him in our collection, and um, hope that you get a chance to come see it sometime. So thanks for tuning in today, um, and hope to see you at the museum sometime soon.